All right, so we have some potential fantasy football NFL draft uh, rumors, uh, courtesy of Peter King, the Sports Illustrated writer, 40-year uh, Sports Illustrated writer, longtime uh, veteran, uh, one of the more uh, successful NFL writers in the history of the game, really. He announced his retirement, all right? Now, um, you know, he penned this, 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 this long column today discussing why he's retiring and whatnot. You know, he's in his mid-60s. He wants to live the rest of his life. Great. But on the way out... He he made it. Uh, he made a post today, saying that it, at least to him, it looks like that the Chicago Bears are going to trade the number one pick, and that means holding on to Justin uh, Fields. To me, you know, listen, Peter King is as you know attuned to uh, to the uh, inner workings of the NFL as any reporter in the game. Like he's right, he was doing it well before Ian Rappaport, you know, well before Adam Schefter. So he has. Top-notch sources. So if he's hearing that the Bears are going to hold on to this pick, uh, excuse me, trade this pick, like that's telling. Now, for me and most pundits, the easy call here is to to trade Justin Fields, reset the quarterback salary cap structure for the Chicago organization, draft Caleb Williams, who looks to be the latest in a can't miss prospect. Now, of course, we said that about Trevor Lawrence, and he hasn't and he hasn't exactly fulfilled that yet. Um, but that, that's a puzzling one for me. So let me know what you think. Are the Bears crazy to hold on to Justin Fields? He did improve his play last year, but still is far from a complete passer. Um, much better runner, obviously. But I think the Bears are making a mistake if they wind up um, trading the pick and not drafting Williams. Let me know what you think, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Lots of videos coming out, so stay tuned.